Hey, many fish. It is the 8th of October, 2020. And I do pray that you're all well. When I say that, I mean it. I have literally just been waiting patiently on the Lord. And I'll tell you, the amount of chaos that's being thrown at the world intentionally. It's all intentional. All designed to get you to do one of two things. Either acquiesce and consent to it, hand over your free will, willingly, or rebel. Either way, you're just under separate wings of the same wicked, worldly bird, rather than seeking the counsel of God by his living word, Jesus Christ. I know what's coming, and I hope you do too. And I am just led to share with you the blood of Christ. The absolute critical importance of understanding and believing on the blood of Christ. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. You need to believe on what Jesus did and understand it. An innocent lamb atoning for the sins of man, for all during this age of grace, this dispensation, which will be coming to a close very soon, and tribulation very soon. It's amazing to me that I did not know this beforehand, but the actual word tribulation, as in great tribulation, that's what's coming. And just punch into your Strong's Concordance, or look it up, the Greek word, 23, 46. It is tribulation to be afflicted, affliction, anguish, burdened, persecution, tribulation, and trouble. And could this be coming on this last day of tabernacles? 10, 10, 20, 20? I have no idea. But I will tell you the importance of the blood cannot be over expressed. Your DNA is literally your name your God-given name, the name that's written in the book of life, if you in fact believe on the blood of Christ. The devil wants your DNA corrupted. Remember, in Revelation, it talks about the number of the beast, and it is the number of the man. It's the number of his name, and it is 666. Understand this. This is tied directly to your DNA. And when you take that 666 and you divide it by the 69, which is essentially what the devil wants to do, you have 46 chromosomes in your flesh. That's what you're made of. And if you divide that 666 by the 69 that Satan wants to make you into by adding another strand of DNA, synthetic, fake, false DNA, that equates to 9.6. Now, think about this, because the 9 is completion, essentially. The 6 is man. This is Satan's quest. His version of a divinely complete man. A transhuman. The iron and clay. In his image. The serpent. The viper. Which is exactly the model used to implement this DNA third strand through this micro needle patch that will be offered to the world at some point in the not so distant future. If you willingly acquiesce to the evil this world is pushing, then you might as well say goodbye to your free will and your very soul. Watch therefore. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. The COVID-19 vaccine is equivalent to 666. And again, I don't use gematria. It's divination. This is shown to us because the enemy uses it. So it's no coincidence that a COVID-19 vaccine equates to 666. In the English, which is the six count gematria, count the number of a man, six. The second wave that they keep raving about. 666. This is all six count English Chimatria. New York, don't forget, is 666. But the bottom line is 
You need to believe on what Jesus did at the cross. He bore the sins of all who believe on him. This is what you need to understand because without that understanding, you will not be able to enter the presence of God. It just, he cannot look upon you when you are loaded with sin. And the only thing that washes that sin white is the blood of Christ. I mean, just look at these coincidences when it comes to 23, 46, 69. These uh, explain everything. When Adam and Eve were thrown out of the garden, is you think it's an accident that the word Eve was assigned the number 2332 in the concordance? The mirror of the spiritual beings that they were in the garden? And they were cast out, cursed. And Jesus is the one who reversed the curse. Even the word 2346 in the Hebrew concordance is wall, which represents the enmity that God put there, the hostility, the hatred between the seeds which happens to be hebrew word 2233 again mixed 23 good 23 evil cain and abel and jesus is our peace he's made the two one he's broken down the middle wall you understand of partition between us betwixt us he's our intercessor just like in Isaiah 53. Look at the word for intercession. 6293. The 23 and the 69. It's one or the other. You're either going to be 23, meaning in spirit, in Christ, redeemed, or you're going to be 69. And he is the intercessor that's covering your sins with his blood. Just happens to be in the Bible 46 times. I mean, come on. It's just amazing. The sixth hour to the ninth hour. It's all coded throughout the Bible. It's beautiful. There was darkness. Okay, think about this. When Jesus, the light, was crucified, darkness was upon the whole earth. And the veil, the middle wall, was torn, rent down the middle, giving access to all to the Father in heaven who believe on Christ Jesus and his atoning blood. And I've gone through this so many times, but it just never gets old. Luke 23, 46. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost, the 23, separating from the flesh, reborn. 23 equals spiritually reborn in Christ. You are justified in him. Plus one, 24, glorified. Just like 1 Corinthians 15, 53, from corrupt to incorrupt, making a 24. And it's no accident that Jesus is the Greek word 24, 24. That's Christ and us the body do you see this is a heavenly right here man the 6969 69 in the hebrew that's very interesting it's lament or chant or wail mourning woman go read ezekiel 32 just read the whole bible please and we have the end of tabernacles coming up here the ninth and tenth you know there's wiggle room there but it's interesting that it went from a Sabbath to a Sabbath. I don't know when the last time that happened. But the last day there, the eighth day, the Shemini Atzeretz, that's what I'm looking at. Because on that day, you guys, it will in fact be the 1010. Now think about that. 1010, 2020. It'll be 6,969 days since 9-11. which is their ritual that's been going on for millennia. 
19 years, 29 days, 9, 11. And again, plus the 1 brings us to the 11th, which is the 23rd of Tishri. And it's also 69 days from the Beirut, Lebanon event. It took only seconds to cause so much death and damage that Lebanese people are calling it their 9-11. On Obama's birthday just just imagine this stuff and another thing I was led to here this was just by chance you wouldn't believe how this happened if I told you but the gematria again God reveals these things to us you know what I mean Donald John Trump again the six count English 1110 is an exact match to this judge nominee Amy Coney Barrett exact match and look at the Greek definition over here. Well-known, notable, to know, absolutely. And all these scriptures that go along with these, it's important that you read them. And look at that in the Hebrew. To annihilate, make waste. It's only used two times. And remember the last nominee that Trump had, Kavanaugh? And on the very week that he's being railed and confirmed, right? the 26th through the 29th of September of 2018, the Arch of Mall was on the mall in D.C. Really? And the Hebrew word 1010 is House of Mall. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. And this is like projecting the judgment that is coming. It's all about judges. The word for justice in the Hebrew is 6666. It's a judgment. This is what's coming. Judgment, judgment, judgment. Remember The Economist magazine with Trump on the tarot cards? The judgment card sitting on the rolled up flag with the Rothschild regalia. We're about to see the white horse manifest. I believe this white horse was released when Christ ascended to the right hand of the Father. He became worthy to open the seals. This white horse has been in motion ever since in the dark. You understand? This is how they've always done their work in the dark. And now it's being revealed. All of it. The workings of this white horse rider manifest. Do you understand? If you go look, he came to conquer and conquer, to subdue, this is what we're seeing all around us. It's right in front of your face. These powers have subdued the entire world. Think about it. First time in history since the Tower of Babel, that is. And soon to follow is the Red Horse Rider, who's given a great sword. And it's given unto him to take peace from the world and from men to kill one another. That's all they're talking about is peace, peace, peace. We know what comes when the world says peace. And it ain't nice. And all this judicial, everything, it's all to bring in the new world order set of laws, which will be based in the Noahide law, the Talmudic law, which ain't good. Everyone will be under these bands, bonds, chains, blockchains of everlasting darkness. Even the B.C. 2-3-23, when you're stuck in this flesh and you take that mark, you will have nothing but darkness. Nothing but darkness. And we will soon see the Sunday Law, the day of rest from Mother Earth, worshipping the creation, right? And this is exactly what Ron Wyatt predicted. And he's the one who discovered that the blood of Christ is on the mercy seat, hidden in Jeremiah's grotto, and it's coming to pass. Sorry, got cut off there. So, time-wise, what I'm looking at right now, definitely 9th, 10th, 11th, Friday through Sunday, to me, is just off the charts. But God, in His time, we shall see. In the meantime... Seek the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and believe on the blood of Jesus, because tribulation is coming. 2346.
God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 